What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm actually at our Holiday World of Alvarado location today, getting some video footage of some of the new 2023s that are coming in. This here is a 2023 Keystone Montana 3855BR. BR stands for bonus room. So this has a little mid-den room that has a really nice size desk in it, plus a loft over that area as well. Really great for people looking to either full-time uh, full live-in or have something with a desk space or both. I know there's a lot of people looking to live in an RV full time that are wanting a desk and this one has one of the best desk spaces available. Let's go take a look. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so again, this is the 2023 Keystone Montana 3855 BR, and you can see we have a bunch of 2022 Montanas around us as well. So, so far, no change to the exterior design of the Montana, which I really don't have a problem with because I feel like the 2022 design on the outside that we're still seeing here on this 2023 is a very clean look, uh, fits the Montana brand very well. So I think it's still a very nice looking exterior that you get here that almost has like a full body paint type of finish on it, or it would look like it's a full body paint by the design, but it is just sticker decals and Montana does have full body paint options if you were to order one that way with the full body paint package. Um, as we go around, one of the biggest changes for 2023 is underneath this area right here. Now, first of all, this has a slam latch door on it. So I love that you have a slam latch door here instead of little metal clips on the corners. I believe that's a change or actually, no, sorry, that's been a, or yeah, that is a change for 2023. You can see here on this 2022, both your storage compartment door there and your side door had the metal clips on them. 2023 is now coming with the slam latch doors. This is something I've always wondered why they don't do the slam latch doors up front here. You now have those. So these will just slam shut there. Love that. And then underneath here, this is all screwed in right now, but you have 200 amp hour lithium batteries under there. So this is now coming from the factory with two lithium batteries installed. So that's going to be about a $2,000 to $2,500 value that's added on here. And then in addition to that, you also have heat that can be um, sent to these because I did just figure out that lithium batteries, they, uh, you can damage them if they're being charged in, you know, below freezing temperatures. So that you do have heat that can go to these batteries as well. If you are in that situation where you are anywhere close to or below freezing temperatures. You're gonna have your battery disconnects underneath here as well. Um, so shutting off power to the batteries and then you have all your hydraulic fluid here for your hydraulic auto leveling and your hydraulic slide out. Next to that, in this compartment here, this is going to be all your additional storage space in here. So just a really large amount of storage that you have in this area. Slam that shut. As we come around, like I said, you will have the hydraulic le auto leveling. It's a six point auto leveling system. So you'll have four stabilizers up in front of the axles here and then two more behind the axles. This is going to be where your propane bottles are. So you'll have two 30 pound pro uh, propane bottles on each side of the RV. And then you just have an absolutely massive storage compartment here. You easily could fit a twin size bed through here. So this is, I mean, a huge space that you have and you have hookups for a TV. So if you were wanting to put a TV here, the best way to do it is a mount on the sidewall that would allow the TV to slide out like this and rotate that way. And then looking up under here at a couple other things, you do have um, heat coming into this area as well through the ducting. Um, they gave that a little bit more of a nice finish for 2023 versus a 2022. And then it's all aluminum framing throughout this Montana, welds on both sides of all your frame piece connections. And that's something that not all brands do. Some brands will just weld on one side of the frame connections, but you have that on all uh, your frame connections have welding on both sides. And then you have your wrap subflooring underneath here. So your wrap subflooring, no exposed wood here with that either. 
If you wanted to add another inverter to this RV and expand upon the solar system, it's also prepped for another inverter if you're wanting to try to run more components off of this RV off of solar. So we'll get into more of the solar stuff when we get to the other side because some of that solar equipment is over there. You do have an outdoor kitchen on this model, one of the few mid bunk or mid bonus room models that come with an outside kitchen area. So especially with being able to add the TV on that wall there, you have a water source here, which I really, really love because I think the water source is one of the most important things on an outdoor kitchen. Just being able to rinse your hands off, do some dishes, rinse a cup out or anything like that without having to actually step foot inside the RV is a big deal to me. So I love that you have the outside kitchen space on this one. You're going to have your little mini refrigerator and then this here. I got this out here and you have a two burner stove here as well. So really have everything you need for outside entertainment between the two burner stove, refrigerator, sink. And then if you were to hook up a TV out here, can hang out outside. You are gonna have your JBL outdoor speakers right up here as well, all underneath the awning. Another big deal where a lot of times outdoor kitchens on RVs are not underneath the awning, but this one you have everything underneath the awning right where you would be hanging out at your campsite. So really love that. As we're looking at the awnings too, you can see I have two awnings on this Montana, so one on this slide out as well. So you'll have almost the entire length of the RV uh, covered with awning coverage, except for up into this front cap area here. But with this awning, you also have the LED light strip up underneath it, so you can see that there, whether your awning is in or out, you do get use of that LED light. So that will illuminate this whole space out underneath here in the nighttime. It's hard to tell how bright these really are during the day, but at night, they illuminate this whole space really, really well. And as we come back under here, you're going to have your hydraulic slide out. So these are rack and pinion style slide mechanism there. You're gonna have your uh, Saloon tires and you have the road armor suspension. So this road armor suspension here is gonna give you six inches of travel. So you have three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down. Um, a lot of times this is compared to like the more ride suspension system that only has three inches of travel. So this gives you an additional three inches of travel for six inches of travel in total. Definitely one of the best suspension systems coming out of the factory. And then these little yellow knobs here indicate that you have a tire pressure monitoring system built into all of your tires, including the spare tire. Even the spare tire is going to have a tire pressure monitoring system and the monitor for that will be inside. So keep coming to the back. We'll get underneath the RV and look at the underbelly where it is fully enclosed underneath here. Everything as far as your water tanks and water lines are all above this enclosed underbelly, above the insulation that's underneath there. And it's in the same cavity as your furnace ducting. So whenever you're running heat through your furnace, that radiant heat will also be given off to your water tanks and water lines to make sure they don't freeze. And in addition to that, you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks on this Montana as well. So a lot of people always ask like, is this RV four, or four seasons? Um, Really all it takes for an RV to be considered four seasons is to have an enclosed underbelly where the water tanks and water lines are um, in an area that receive heat. But in addition to that, this also has the 12 volt heat pads on it. So if you're transporting with water in your tanks and it is anywhere close to freezing or below freezing temperature when you won't have your furnace on, you can turn on those 12 volt heat pads to make sure that water doesn't freeze as you're driving down the road. Coming to the back, you have nice frameless windows all along this Montana, so I'm sure you've Notice that, but if you haven't, want to point that out that all your windows are frameless, so they have a much cleaner flush finish there. You have reverse lights on here as well as your brake lights, your 50 amp plug connection here. And then you have a 3000 pound towing hitch. So if you did want to tow something off of this, you do have a towing hitch there, or it can just be used as an accessory hitch for a bike rack or something along those lines. You'll have three more slide outs along this wall. Um, I'm going to get up on the roof real quick and we're going to go take a look at the roof and see what's going on up there. So up here on the roof, you have a fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide out boxes, three Coleman Mott Q-Series ACs, and I love that they're white, so they are not going to take in as much heat from the sun being white, I love that. And then you can see you have a 400 watt solar system up here, so two 200 watt panels, and then you have an additional solar connection here, so if you wanted to expand upon the solar system, I mean, you could fit probably two more 200 watt panels back there. You could fit more panels over here if you're wanting to really get an expansive solar package on a, on a Montana like this. So it comes prepped to be able to do things like that. Now let's hop back down and keep going around this Montana. So as we come along this side, you're going to have your three slide outs and we'll look at where the water tank drains are. So it looks like you have 
Oh, love this. Every single drain point comes to one spot in the RV. So black and gray tanks all come to this one spot. You can see you have this little amber light under here too to see what you're doing if it's darker outside. But everything comes to this one area here for your black and gray tanks. So no having to use a Y connection or anything like that. And then also love that on this model, you have the uh, 12 inch I-beam frame and then you have the drop frame here, which is making this a full profile fifth wheel. So this frame drops down, giving you bigger storage compartments up here. That's why this storage compartment is so huge underneath here. And then you have all your water connections under here where you're gonna have your outside shower. It'll come with a 25 foot coil hose. You're going to have a, another solar connection in here if you wanted to put a solar panel out on the ground out here and your tank flush, everything you need to do for all your water stuff is all in this compartment right there. You also have hookups for a satellite TV with a cable behind here that's already ran to the roof for that. Most people aren't doing that nowadays because of smart TV capabilities, but you do have that option if that's something you wanna do. Now getting into more of the solar here, you have a 30 amp solar charge controller. It's the Victron Energy Solar Charge Controller. It also has uh, this solar panel disconnect here as well. So that's new for 2023. This is gonna be your bigger solar charge controller. It is prepped to add even another solar charge controller. Again, if you expand upon this solar system, you have the 2000 watt inverter here. And with this uh, 400 watt solar system, this is going to be getting power to your inverted outlets as well inside the RV. Something that would normally run off the 110 electrical connection. Um, this inverter now is going to invert that 12 volt power coming from the batteries that are being charged by the solar panels invert that to 110 so that you can get some of that power to the outlets inside the RV. Um, lastly, you have a, um, what's it called? A central vac right there as well. So you have your central vac hookup so you can vacuum things in this um, compartment here and outside your RV if you need to. Lastly, your other 30 pound propane bottle here and auto leveling controls are all behind this panel with all your instructions right here for the auto leveling. Looking at the exact specs of this model, it's coming in right at 14,300 pounds even. And then you have a cargo carrying capacity of 2,540 pounds, giving you a total gross vehicle weight rating of 16,900 pounds. So if you have a 250 or 2,500 dually, you can tow something like this and 350 or 3,500 or up, easily gonna be able to pull something like this. But if you're a 250 or 2,500, it's gotta be a diesel. And we have to check some of the specs on there just to make sure you're good on your payload capacity and everything like that but I've definitely had many people tow something like this with a 250 or 2500 in the past that have had no problems with that, depending on what you're planning to do. So uh, last thing up front here, I forgot I didn't even touch on the pin box. You have the Road Armor pin box on here. So this is going to pivot forward and back. You have this rubber bushing there. So when you brake and accelerate, that's gonna absorb a lot of that shock there when you brake and accelerate. Working in unison with the Road Armor suspension just to give you a more comfortable towing experience, keep this RV from um, both affecting you as you're driving and from shaking so much on the inside. And you have the patented hitch vision plate here. So this plate is going to allow you to see how your hitch is lining up as you go towards that pin box there. You'll be able to see into the bed of your truck and see how that's lining up if you're doing that by yourself. And that is pretty much everything on the outside. So let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, as we open this door here and start to head inside, so far not seeing too many changes with anything else on the outside. This is gonna be a strut assisted step. So it will stay up on its own, meaning it's not gonna fall and hit you on your head or anything like that. While you are moving this up and down, it's gonna be nice and easy for you. You're not gonna have to be super strong to be able to lift this up. And then you have these little notches here. You push these in to adjust the legs here. Much better than having to pull a pin in and out every time in my opinion. And as we go inside, you're going to have your screen defender here. So this is going to protect your screen door, especially if you have dogs or cats or anything like that that might scratch on it. That's gonna protect that here. And you have the screen assist that is going to allow you to not have to locate this little handle here. You can grab this bar at any point, use your elbow to hit it to detach this screen door there. And then as we head inside, what really makes mid bunks or bonus rooms or mid dens, whatever they may be called, highly popular is you get a second bedroom type of setup with all of the living space and seating that you would get in a traditional fifth wheel. So as you can see here, you have the three cushion sofa here. This is also going to pull out to a king size bed. So it is a trifold sofa that will make into a king size bed when you pull that out. And you have two recliners and the dinette table that has two additional chairs up in the bedroom. So four chairs in total 
So you get all this seating space here, all these big campsite windows so you can see out into your campsite and you get a mid bonus room in here as well. So we'll go take a look at that more in just a second. Let's stay in the living area for just a minute. Um, talk about some uh, construction points real quick so I don't miss those and then we can get those out of the way. You have what is called Dynaspan flooring in here. So the subflooring underneath here is going to be a one piece seamless flooring there that is marine grade. So it's gonna be water resistant. If water were to get on it, it would just beat up on that subflooring. Comes with a 25 year warranty from Keystone. And with it being seamless, there's no seams in that floor, which mean as you own the RV over the lifespan of it, when you step on different spots, when you have a floor that has different pieces put together, you start to feel where those seams are and they start to squeak a little bit. Not gonna happen with this Dynaspan flooring underneath there. And again, comes with a 25 year warranty. Then under here, you have this PVC kind of woven carpet material. So this is like a woven, almost plasticky, rubbery type feeling. Makes it very flexible and it snaps right back into place. So I love that. It's also very protective against like spills and stuff like that from preventing it from going through. You can see it's aligned with carpet on the back there. And then in addition to this, you have a completely wrapped subflooring underneath here and you have an astrofoil layer of insulation as well. You do this on a lot of different RVs out there, including some that are more expensive than this Montana, and you will just see bare exposed wood underneath here. But in this Montana, in every other Keystone RV in the slide out, they wrap these sub floorings here. So love that they do that, a little extra step that some manufacturers don't do. Underneath the dinette table while we're here, let's take a look at this real quick, because you do have this little bar here that holds your seats in place. So you don't have to be too concerned with strapping them in. If you forget, it's not gonna be detrimental because that bar will help hold those in place. And then as we look around, really, really love the aesthetic of the Montanas. So far, no color changes from the 2022 to the 2023, but you do have the LED lighting up in the crown molding up here. You can see it up in the light fixtures up here as well, up above this light fixture, and you do have it in the island kitchen as well. So. Lots of elegant lighting in here makes it look really, really nice. Your Montanas also are now going to be coming again with day and night shades. There was a short period of time where they were only having night shades because they couldn't get day shades in stock, but glad to see that we have day shades back on the Montana. Um, you're going to have the white backing here that's gonna help not absorb so much heat with those as well. Keep some of the heat out and that'll be across all your windows in this living area here. Um, really nice solid hardwood table. You do have a leaf extension on it. Plus you'll have some storage here to extend the leaf out. You just pull these arms out and flip this out and you'll be able to drop that down to extend the leaf. If this is something that you wanted, oh, almost drop. There you go. Got to get that strut all the way up. I'm glad actually that you saw that because it didn't damage anything or anything like that. But this strut, you want to get it all the way up. If you stop halfway, it will drop back down. So good to catch that there and see that. <laughs> Um, but if you want to remove a table like this, it's mounted to the sidewall there. So there's screws holding it into the sidewall. All you'd have to do is remove those screws and this table will completely be removed and you can put whatever you want in this space. So something to keep in mind too, if you want to use this space for something else. Then coming to the recliners here, you have your two Thomas Payne recliners. This Montana we are in is in the um, bourbon color stone or not bourbon color stone, the bourbon colorway. So Montana has three different color options. They have bourbon, they have cobblestone and they have cottage white. Now, bourbon is going to come with all the gray cabinetry. So you can see all your cabinets are gray all throughout here and the dark furniture. This is like a very dark brown type of furniture here. And then your cottage white will come with the same dark brown furniture. You'll still have a gray island, but you'll have white cabinets that are like a rustic white. And then finally, they have their cobblestone that comes with kind of a creamish color sofa here and it'll have all the gray cabinets in here just like this one does. So those are your three different color options. Again, this is in the bourbon colorway here that is currently available. And then on your recliners, you have all these different seat adjustments here where you can both recline and retract the recline there. And then you're going to be able to adjust the position of this headrest and this backrest. So this will come forward and backwards if you want this to be more slanted up or more laid back. And same with this here, you can push it out more to give you more back support or push it back to give you more cushion there, depending on what you want storage in the middle of here and then you do have usb ports on both sides as well to be able to charge your phones you have a dimmer switch on the lights here so that will allow you to dim these lights above your theater seating 
And then you have this area back here, a couple tabletops on both sides with outlets on both sides and USB ports. So you can charge things there as well. And then you have your storage up above where this will all be unobstructed through here. Really nice looking glass finish there. And these are all gonna be soft clothes. You'll have the magnet latches up there. So when those close there, they'll close soft and you'll have magnet latches to hold those in place. All of your ACs are going to have, actually, I take that back, not all of them. The front and the rear ACs, or the front and the rear ACs are going to have the residential air filter in here. So this is a MERV 9 grade air filter, keeping your, not only your air cleaner, uh, keeping not only your air cleaner, but your ducting cleaner as well, having that residential grade filter instead of those little thin black pads that really don't do much of anything. Big upgrade there. Um, that was also in the 2022 models. And then you have the black, blade ac vents here so we've seen the blade ac vents in pretty much every keystone rv that i've shown love that this one does the black vents because this is the only brand that does a black vent there or vent cover instead of a white and these are going to push air out in a 360 degree motion to give you significantly more air coverage than a directional vent that just shoots air down in one or maybe two directions to help cool down your rv faster then as we get to your entertainment space you can see directly across from the tv have great view of your TV there from the recliners. Also love that this couch here is about six feet long. So if you wanna lay down on it, very easy to do. And as we go to the TV, you have a 50 inch screen TV there. Forgive me as I wipe my face cause it's so hot in this RV. Still August in Texas, so it is very warm out here. And then you have your JBL sound system. So you have these JBL speakers, definitely an upgraded speaker because it's gonna have both a mid-range and a tweeter speaker. So if you don't know much about audio, that means you have two individual speakers here, one handling the high frequencies and one handling the mid frequencies. So that's gonna give you better sound clarity. You have your um, fireplace here that will have uh, three different colors on it. And this is going to put out heat. So this will be an electric heat source there for you as well. And then back behind the TV, pull this out. You have your JBL sound woofer, so that's gonna be handling the low end frequencies, giving you a subwoofer in this area for your bass. And then you also have a gain control knob here for that so you can adjust how sensitive you want that to be. You see this is an inverted outlet, so this will be one of those outlets you can get power to from the battery system and the inverter with the solar panels charging those batteries. And you have the storage space back behind there. So go ahead and push that back. As you can see too, the TV does swivel out and lift this up, you'll have a huge storage space back behind here. This is all solid hardwood as well. So in your Montana, everything's solid hardwood from all your frame pieces, your, um, what's it called, your crown molding, things like that, all going to be solid hardwood. I love that they made room for a pantry in this model because sometimes this is something that you might not get, having a pantry in like a mid bunk model, but they definitely made sure to make room for that and have that there. You have your island kitchen that is going to have your two, get my towel out of there, have your two uh, sinks in here. You have the bigger sink to the left and the smaller sink to the right. And then they will have the sink covers underneath here. Or if you open this up, you can see you have your two solid surface sink covers there that are the exact same material as the countertop. Open this up, you have your um, silverware tray. Back to soft closed drawers, a lot of Montanas in 2022 did not come with the soft closed drawers for whatever reason, just because they couldn't get them in stock, but they couldn't get the materials in stock for it. But back to soft closed drawers there, you can see even this is all solid hardwood throughout here and every component for your drawers and cabinets on this Montana. You have an outlet here in the island as well. And we'll get back to some of the other storage here. Talk about the suburban three burner cooktop. This is going to be a much larger oven than you get in pretty much every other RV that has like a Furion or Greystone oven. Um, the only thing bigger than this would be like the um, Insignia cooktop where the oven is actually the same, same size. The Insignia comes with four burners though. But the three burners I actually like a, a bit more because it gives you more space per burner to have bigger pots and pans there than the four burner does. But if you want a four burner Insignia cooktop, Keystone makes the Alpine brand that will come with the Insignia. And these ovens are pretty much the same size as one another. Open this up and this is more storage. You can see your tire pressure sensor monitor there that it'll come with as well. And then open up this area next to it and you have your storage under here. Storage next to the microwave. And it is a convection oven microwave combo. Residential size. And then it looks like they still have the spice rack 
up above here as well that was a change for 2022. Finally, finished up some space in the kitchen here. You have your other pull-out drawer there and all this unobstructed storage throughout here. Now, looking at the pricing, you can see with the additional options added on here, hopefully I can get this to go flat, with the different options on here, um, including the lithium batteries, the 400 watt solar system, and your tire pressure monitoring system, things like that. The MSRP is 145,098. Now, if you don't know or haven't seen my videos before, I am in a sales position. I am at the Holiday World of Mesquite location, which is just outside of Dallas. And at that location, we carry the same brand here too. Um, our Alvarado location just got it in first before I did, so I came here to get a video of it. But if you are interested in this RV, whether you're in the Alvarado location, which is south of Fort Worth, or you're in the Dallas location, or you're anywhere across the country, I would love to help you out in making this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there, or there is a link down below in the description where you can leave your name and number, which will come directly to my inbox so I can get in touch with you and get you all the information as quickly as possible. Again, if you want it to come to me, I am at the Mesquite, Texas location, so you'll select that location when you go to that inquiry link. Now, if you're in the Houston area or somewhere else where it might be more convenient to go to one of our other locations, you can pick another location and another salesperson at one of those locations will reach out to you. But if you wanna work with me directly, um, pick the Mesquite location in Texas, fill out that inquiry form, and I would love to help you out in giving you a great experience in not only purchasing your RV, but also throughout the lifespan of owning your RV. I'd love to take care of you and make sure you have a great experience with that. So reach out to me there. Again, I am in a sales position. I do not get paid to come out here and make these videos of these RVs. Literally drove down to Alvarado, which is about an hour away from my Mesquite store, just to come down here to make videos. I took a whole day off of opportunities to sell to come and make these videos for y'all to see. So if you appreciate my efforts coming here to do this and you trust me enough to earn your business, I would love to help you out. So with all that said, um, let's look here where you have open this up. This is gonna be your knob here to make sure those doors don't open on you while you're going down the road. You're gonna have your refrigerator under here. Stuff is still taped in place, but you do have your ice maker there. It's a residential refrigerator. This unit literally just came in, I think like yesterday or the day before, something like that. You have a water dispenser here in the door as well. And it's a French door refrigerator, so tons of space in there. And then last thing before we go into the mid bunk area, you have your storage up above here. Not super deep or anything like that, but you do have that storage there and it just gives it a nice clean finish. Now you have sliding pocket doors that give it a really nice look when this is closed going into this mid bunk. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. They give you this nice extra cord here to make it really easy to disconnect those. Slide these closed, they will have two magnets to hold them in place. So you'll be able to close that up like so. Give you that closed door there to what will, for most people, be an office space. And slide this back across. Get this back in place, hold these open. You definitely wanna make sure um, when transporting these that these stay where you want them to be. You don't want those moving around while you're transporting. And then when you come in here, you'll have your sofa here. This will pull out to a full-size bed. So it's a tri-fold sofa. You have a window on this wall here, again, day and night shades in here. And then you have just a huge desk space. So whether you wanna put a TV on here, a computer monitor, whatever it may be, you could probably fit at least about a 50 inch screen TV on this tabletop there. So it could fit a pretty elaborate computer system as well. And you have lots of storage in here, giving it much more of an office feel with everything. Nice kind of like file cabinet size storage there. Outlet right here as well, and outlet right there. And you have another chair little buddy there to hold this in place. Gonna have storage here and storage here, so you have all this shelving space there. And then you'll have all your storage up above. This is all unobstructed all the way through. Ceiling height in here is about six foot four to six foot five or so. So I'm six two and have plenty of space in here to fit, not really any issues with fitting in this space here and then a really nice office desk chair that you get as well a um, nice comfortable chair that you have here so love this office space let me know what you think if you like this office space and if you think this will be practical for what you would want to do with an rv and then as we come up this way you're going to have as soon as you walk in the entry door 
You have all your controls here for all your lights, your water tanks, your tank heaters, your slide outs, your awnings, things like that. You have your fan controls. You have your battery heat switch. So this is gonna be heat going to the batteries if you're in um, freezing or below freezing temperatures. And then you have a nice little coat closet area in here for some additional storage. Now going up the steps, you're going to have your central vac hose connection here and your floor sweep here. So when the power is on, when you're plugged into 100 and or to your 50 amp connection here, um, this is going to be a floor sweep. So this will suck everything up into the steps so you can get rid of your dust pan and don't have to worry about that. You have a nice safety handle coming up the steps here. And then you have a ladder that'll come out like so, so that you can get up into the loft space where this loft has a 300 pound capacity and definitely a great sleeping space if you have kids that are smaller. Someone like me, I could lay in there because this is about the size of a queen bed or so up here. Queen to a king, actually. This looks like this might be more the width of a king, potentially. But it's not super tall. It's maybe about two feet tall here. So I would definitely have to lay down. A kid and sit up in this space. But very practical for kids. Kids usually love it. It's not too cramped for a kid that is smaller. And then you have storage back there as well. But this is also just a great place for dry storage if you don't need it as a bed. Some people will remove this mattress and have a space up here that's all just designated to storage. And you can see you have two AC vents up here as well. Have your light switch so you can control those lights from the switch and an outlet here. Have your um, power switch for your inverter if you want to turn that on and off. And then going to the bathroom, you have, this is what the cottage white looks like here. So they still are doing the white in the bathroom where you have the cottage white cabinets have the bowl sink with the black faucet. I think this looks really, really clean. Gives you lots of countertop space. I know it's polarizing. Some people don't like it. You let me know what you think down below in the comments, but I love it. Then going to the shower, you have a fiberglass one piece shower, has an adjustable shower height uh, feature. So you can move this shower head up and down wherever you would like, which I love that because that means me being 6'2", I can easily get underneath the shower head where this sits well above my head that I would never have to take this off to get under it. Ceiling height to here is probably about 6'4", to maybe 6'5", six, 6'4 six, and a half. And then you have up in here about 6'6 six, six or so for the ceiling height to be comfortably fitting in here. Plenty of room to walk around. You're gonna have a seat back here as well. And it's all a fiberglass one piece shower. So residential style shower, very clean finish on there. Open these up and this is gonna be really deep storage back there with a, um, light sensor so that automatically comes on in a really deep drawer there. You have a speaker in the bathroom. So if you wanna do some shower karaoke, you have a designated speaker zone for the bathroom. You have the max air vent fan. You also had one of these in the kitchen that I believe I've skipped over. AC vent and a porcelain toilet. So open that up. You do have a plastic toilet seat on this. So if you wanted to replace this with something else, this is just a residential size elongated toilet seat. So you could get that from Lowe's or Home Depot. But I have seen the Fusion toy haulers from Keystone coming with a wooden soft closed toilet seat. And I would love to see them do something similar in the Montana that has yet to be done. But something that you can easily replace yourself as of right now. Then coming to the bathroom space, you're going to have your four drawers that pull out. So these will all be the same size. Soft closed there as well. And then you'll have all your storage space under here, plus your medicine cabinet and a nice flush to the wall mirror there. Also have a nice towel ring there. That looks good too. I like that they went with the ring. And then that leads us to the bedroom where we have our king size bed. You're going to have the really nice looking finish up front here. One thing I really love about what Montana did with the 2022 model, now seeing it into the 2023, is having the night shelf here, the night stand up above the window there. So you have your outlets and USB ports up here and you're going to have that uh, nightstand area. So that way you're not having to worry about hitting your head or anything on a nightstand that's lower to the bedside. Also giving you more bed space down here. You have a framed out finish with these nice cushiony um, headrests there or headboard. All of these are also going to have day and night shades on your windows, including this one over the bed. And then I love their night lights. This is one of the best like reading light setups I've seen where you have this kind of halo ambient light there. And then you have the more directional reading light there as well. So two different light settings on both of your individual um, reading light setups. And same setup on the other side as well. Coming to this area here, you have a framed out TV space. You're going to have six pull out drawers. So these will pull out there. You have your light switch here for the room. 
And then let me look back here. Have your outlets there. This is on a swivel mount, so you can move this around as well. And then it kind of just snaps back into place. Oh, it has a magnet right there to hold it in place. So that is a really nice feature too, just getting it back to that original position. Again, your six drawers here, you're gonna have washer dryer connections in here. So if you want the washer dryer, that would go in this area here. It would be a stackable uh, washer and dryer unit. Um, if you don't use the washer dryer, you do have a clothing rod there. You can still use that clothing rod whether you put the washer and dryer in here or not, but this shelf will have to come out to put the washer dryer in here. And obviously you can see you have your other chair there. Opening this up, this is gonna be your wardrobe space where you get, again have another clothing rod in here, have an outlet here as well. And what a lot of people will do like, because I don't believe, lift up this bed. Yeah, you don't have an outlet on this side of the bed. So that is your outlet where you can kind of creep a cord through um, the door there going to the bed if you wanna plug something in right there. You have a framed out storage space underneath the bed, your central vac hose. And then on this side, you do have an outlet on that wall. And then coming back into here, you have your shelving. You have a hamper right here. So this is a nice little feature that Montana puts in all their bedrooms and lots of countertop space in the wardrobe as well. Finally, in addition to all that, you have your AC in here with the residential air filter. And I forgot to show that back out in the living room area, you have your third AC on here as well. We order all these Montanas in this size with the third AC, or this is just a drop down AC. So this is going to help speed up the time cooling down this area, including the um, bonus room area as well, where this here will just dump air into this area when you wanna cool this area down quicker. But won't need to use that all the time, but it does help if you've just been driving in 100 degree weather and now you're getting to your campsite, you can make sure that's on to cool down this area a whole lot quicker. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, again, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I drove all the way out here an hour away from my dealership's location to come make this video today just so you could see it. And if you appreciate my efforts on that, I would really love to earn your business to help you get into the RV you want. So whether it's this RV that you're looking at or another one that you may want, you can text me at the number on the screen there. Um, I think it's gonna be up in that corner. Might be in the corner over my head, I don't know. Um, but text me in the number on the screen there. And then there's also a link down below in the description for my RV inquiry link. I would actually prefer that you went there to that link down below in the description. Leave your name and number so I can get in touch with you and what RV you were looking at. And as soon as I'm available, I will get you all the information that you need or set up a time with you to come take a look at this RV in person. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.